100 million shoe boxes. That's 100 million times God has given us an opportunity to touch a child for the name of His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. There are 100 million shoebox gifts collected, but it comes down to the one, the one child receiving one gift, receiving one opportunity to come to know Jesus. There are two words that I've heard at every distribution that I've ever participated in, and those are children that, that come up to me and they say, Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. I love you. What's the best? In those early years, I don't think any of us, and I was such a little girl at the time, I don't think any of us realized how big Operation Christmas Child would be one day. A man from England called, but he called me in July and asked if I would like to help him send some shoebox gifts to children in Bosnia. Then they called back that fall and said, uh, where's our boxes? My secretary came in the office and she had this look on her face, kind of like you're in trouble look. I remember he had to call a friend because he kind of let the ball drop. He called Ross, Dr. Ross Rhodes down at Calvary Church in Charlotte. Ross Rhodes was the pastor. He not only helped us, but the entire church got behind that Operation Christmas Child that first year. It was a tremendous outpouring out of that one church. 93, we took the boxes to Bosnia. 94, uh, I think we collected a little over 100,000 boxes uh, in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, 94, 95, I think we really caught a glimpse of what this could be. It's something God has done, and we want to give Him the glory. I remember my very first Operation Christmas Child trip. It was uh, in South Africa, and it was in the fifth grade. There was one little girl in her crib, and as she rolled over, we realized she had no eyes. And as we opened it up, everything in there had to do with feel and to um, touch and noise, and there's bells, and the joy that came over this little girl instantly. I remember a kid in Bosnia that didn't have a coat, and it was wintertime, and we were in a school, and the windows were blown out, and it was cold. His box had a coat in it. And we have seen over the years where God directed shoe boxes to the right kid at the right time, at the right place, with something that kid needed. And I believe it's because of the prayers that are behind the boxes. So God had a plan. My favorite part about this project are our volunteers. We could not do this project without the volunteers. Tens of thousands of churches, a cast of thousands of year-round volunteers, hundreds of thousands of short-term volunteers. I'm trying to thank them, and they come up to me and they thank me. The Lord is, is mobilizing His people. It's child to child, it's person to person, it's church to church. It's a simple project. Churches love it because this is a tremendous opportunity for evangelism. And we ask families as you pack a box, put that box in the middle of your living room and pray. Delivering millions of shoeboxes every year is not an easy task. How do you distribute a million anything? We've done it by plane, by boat. Camels donkeys, helicopters, and then see them just up on people's heads. Canoes, river boats. And so the churches are giving the boxes and we're distributing them through the churches. So that whenever those boxes arrive, trust me, it is Christmas for the kids when those boxes arrive. This is Christmas! <laughs> this is the first time they have got the gifts ever in their lifetime. You know, we're just getting started with Operation Christmas Child. The potential is so great to reach more and more children. So we need more churches, more individuals, more volunteers. This is our time. This is our opportunity. This is the team that the Lord has called. I want the children of the world to know. I want their parents to know that God loves them. He hasn't turned his back on them. He cares for them, and He wants them to be with Him in heaven. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Samaritan's Purse, Operation Christmas Child, it's about evangelism.